Hello and welcome to another episode of Memo of Nigeria. Daya is annoying me today. <laughs> and today is, is like there a day I don't understand. Because there's so much going on on in this Nigeria, so much going on. Hmm. So how are you? I hope you had a good week. Well, I do hope your week has been great. Yeah. That's the word. It, my week has been there's a whole lot going on right now. There's so much shaggy here and there, but as long as we're still breathing, mm. we're alive. Hey, that's all that matters, isn't it? I don't know what's what. I don't know what happened with mine, but anyway, my week was my week. Uh, we are here now. We're here. We're alive. Yes. And hey, we're talking to you. Mm. Oh yeah, podcast pandemic in Nigeria. Everybody wants to have a podcast. Everybody has a podcast. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, you know when you say. I want to get a mic. The first thing that comes to my head when people consult and like, I die. Oh, mic when in camera. The first thing that comes to my head. Another person wants to start a podcast. As much as it's good, but you ask these people what sort of content they do don't you have. Putting out. They don't have. I, I remember talking to a friend that um, they are like four or five. Or there about mm -hmm. contents that are out there now. Yeah. If it's not religion, it's politics, it's sexual, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I think it's just three. Mm. I think it's what people would listen to the sexual. Yeah, those are the content. three that they want to hear. Yeah, they don't even want to hear politics. Nobody's interested in politics, guy. It's it has True. to be do with, it has to do with relationships and sex i mean we all know that sex sells but it's crazy how it's becoming every deacon harry wants to have a podcast and they don't even understand what this thing means what it entails what you have to do it's crazy that i'm starting a podcast today and i don't even understand what i want to do right or i am telling someone these are the equipment for you to, to get to buy this, buy that, and you're like, ah, "Which one won't buy?" <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, I I started my podcast when was that? 2020 that we spoke about it. I think. Was it, yeah, it yeah, it was just before COVID. COVID, and then we started. I didn't really know a lot of people doing podcasts except Dario, of course. And we talked about it. I consulted him because he's like the podcast guy here. He's, that's why she bribed pizza. me with pizza. But you ate it. <laughs> yeah, I had to eat it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you had to, so you didn't have a choice. See how cheap I you didn't, are. Uh, you know. So I consulted Dio, Dio, <laughs> and Dio told me, okay, you just get this one, get that. But I had content that I wanted to do, although it didn't happen because it was a different content entirely. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that, that it will happen. happen. She doesn't happen. have a choice. Yeah. But then, remember the Nigerian girl just struck me. I was like, okay, this is good. And I actually, we had a different name for it. But somehow, we, I had the content. You know, I, I looked, Dario, okay, well, what can we do, this and that. You know, we put our team together, and we're doing this. But then, this day, you see that it's happening. You want to go to their page to scroll. Okay, what is this person saying? He's like, today, sex, tomorrow. Uh, should we have two boyfriends the next day? Uh, threesome is threesome good. You know, the annoying thing is that they pay for some of these things, like they pay for studio sessions, mm -hmm. they pay for equipment. Mm -hmm. And you know what always comes to my mind where do you get this money from? Because people who are actually doing this real podcast, or we don't get money because podcast is not paying in Nigeria, for example. So, where do you get money to pay for? Except you have brands. To Except you have brands, you have uh, sponsors and all of that. And I think that there are so many sponsor, uh, sponsors who would like the sexual thing. And if you ask the same people that, oh, I have this kind of content which is very informative, educating, they would say, oh, we don't have money for that. But you would sponsor, they would sponsor sexual related content because of the traffic, I would ask you I guess. one honest question. Please don't ask me about the thank you. <laughs> because... I'm gonna blow your head. The 10k is different, but then if someone comes to you now mm -hmm. and says, 
Helen, I have a sexual content. Okay. Would you listen? Would I? Li I would listen, but I want to also believe that beyond that, there will be something else. If you're scrolling through social media and then you see a sexual content be right before you see a financial content, which would you go for? It? Well, I think I will go for the financial because I mean first, first, because I'm all about other things. I mean, okay, wait till they sex. Wait, you <laughs> no, you know, like person, they teach people bad glasses, but <laughs> what is the sex? I mean, sex is sex as as much as we love it, as much as you know. I'm not saying you go and do adultery or fornicating, mm. but you know what I'm saying. But yeah, finance, but we, we don't know everything about finance. For example, I read this Smart Money wi Woman book, or Smart Money Women by RSA one and two. I absolutely love it when the series came on netflix i watched as well do you understand i read the books i've had one let me not call the name book with me sexual related men for i even bought it expensive i bought it because <laughs> it i want to use to write i want to, use to do contents <laughs> okay. on social media aside that i never opened that book these days in this generation i don't want to say millennial or generation z mm -hmm. or whatever boomers or whatever yeah in this generation mm -hmm. one of the things that sells the most mm -hmm. assigns gossip yeah is sex mm -hmm. so if you look at the podcast that is around now right. that every that everybody is doing mm. if you don't have the crowd yeah the first thing you want to do is to find the sexual content. Absolutely, I agree with you. And it's crazy. That's not podcast. Podcast is all about information. It's just an abbreviated version of radio. Imagine you talking about sex or talking about unnecessary sexual content on all radio. The, no, all the time. All the time. I, I don't even have problems. It's crazy. Because sometimes, you know, we talk about sexual um, things. You're or, educating yeah. people. But then... We're not talking about it all the time. That is not what this is all about. This podcast is not about talking about, oh, this is what you should, sexual, 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 all the time. You know what I mean? If, if you're bringing, you, it's like, and also, it's also easy for us to sit now and say that, uh, don't do sexual content because the people like it. Hmm. The people would buy it. If sexual content are not selling, they would not be making them yeah, because people want to know this like i said earlier this generation they want to hear about sex or gossip and the fact that they are quite inquisitive Dario, and the fact that we have so many we also have um educative podcasts out there yeah how many people listen to them it will be shocking that the rates or the the numbers are pretty low how many people listen to them the blogs they always push the people who are doing it's controversial exactly they like controversy they don't care if it's informative they don't care if it's educating as as long as it sells it brings traffic that is all i just think people should make more research about. before you venture into it, it so is not should they ban podcasts now and i render all of us useless you know as of 2016 i i did a research and where i was working or where i work currently mm -hmm. I told them that in a couple of years, give it right. five, six, seven years from now, mm -hmm. 2016, right. so now, that podcast is going to be something everybody wants to do. Yeah. And look at it now. Mm -hmm. Now, in a couple of years, mm -hmm. I don't want to use the word radio is going to go extinct. Right. Neither do I want to say podcast is going to drop. It's going to be like... Uh, the recharge card you're buying it's going to be like um, everybody on the phone can now podcast which they can they do can actually do something else is going to come out mm -hmm. and you would wonder what exactly is going on but then do you think that so i wouldn't say that it should be banned what about regulated because when you regulate things i mean maybe because there's so many misinformation on social media right now that people are saying oh this is happening this is happening and you know these are false narratives but because you have a platform you have this many people are not doing research they're not actually journalists they're just oh now i can talk now i have that's, this that's... and i'm gonna just disseminate this information without mm. verifying 
Yeah, but that's why it's called podcast. You don't need. There should be some sort of it can be regulated. If you're regulating it, that means you want to regulate someone's brain. That's how it is. I you understand. Just, okay, you take for instance the. I won't mention name. Mention. <laughs> I don't listen to her, but you know, I just was surfing the web and that came up. It, came, it just came up. Uh, the 10,000 there, 5,000 there, whatever mm. game. That so do you, wait, wait, let's even talk about that. Do you have a problem with that? Do I have a problem with yes. giving you my money? 10,000 era, the, the old thing. Where is you it? You know, the you idea know. of why would you give me 10,000 era? Things like that. That's the thing. Mm. Some people have. The the I think it's still based on responsibilities. Mm. If you're responsible enough, no matter how rich you are, right? If I give you something worth of, I think the lowest amount in Nigeria is five naira. Yeah. No, ten naira. That's still like five naira. Five naira. Yeah, but you can't so, buy anything with five naira. Okay, so ten naira or yeah. twenty naira. Let's say one thousand. <laughs> Okay, let's say 1,000. If I give you 1,000 Naira and you don't appreciate it, if you're telling me that, why would you give me 1,000 Naira? What do I need it for? It will be the last time I will give you anything. Right. And that's like two liters of free. That's why I said five Naira. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of the amount, I just feel some people are ingrate. Right. If someone is removing 10,000 Naira from their account, even if the person is a billionaire, if the person is Mark Zuckerberg or Elon Musk and he's giving you 10,000 naira, mm -hmm. geez, and you're not appreciative of it. Be gone. I don't want to say you can never be rich, but. But then there is another guy who they said is only, he doesn't like women, so his content are always against women. Always talking about women. That's not possible. He was born by a woman. It's something that people say that oh you're always talking you see, that's what I'm saying. You see women because you're talking about Big Brother um, people, you're saying they are this, they are that, you're against them, you know, things like that. And and for me what I told the person is there I mean one of the people who I know who was mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like, Oh, I don't like this guy. They are so we have so many podcasts out there, you don't have to listen to him. The truth is, if most you don't of like this what podcast. I'm doing, don't listen to me. Most of this podcast are coming out of depression. A lot of people have mental issues, ha. unknowingly. But no, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, but a lot of them have mental issues, and then you know it is what you have in your head mm. that you bring out. You cannot bring what you don't have in your head. So if your head needs fixing. You would bring the parts that is that is needed that needs fixing. You mm. bring it out. So people saying, "I won't do this. I won't do that." It's oh, as no. a result of what you have in your head. It's actually very easy to say on on social media on your podcast that oh, this will never be me. But mm. real life, all of us are shaky. You know, that was something we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. That, oh, I would never succumb to this. This would never be me. It would never be that. But before you but know it, you're like, a multi girl. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing how, or should I say shocking, how we always say, oh, this would not be me. You know what I think? And people do actually do not like the lady now. You know, many people are against I her. I don't even like her now. Bef and before? I don't know her. Okay, you never knew her. I don't. Oh. So it was the podcast that brought her out to me. Okay. I'm saying this to my for myself. Yeah. It was the podcast that brought her out, and then when I heard it, I'm like, what the heck is this? So someone is giving. You're telling the person, what do you need five k for? Return the money. Mm. If you return it, and the person says, oh, you return. Oh, good. Thank you. If you if I give you. <laughs> Oh, I'm not rich. What would you do? What would you do? Me? I'll collect the money back now. Just like that, you will not add more. Why would I add more? Okay, okay. Oh, uh, my baby. I'm saying this hmm. to my wife. Which, if you which listen, of <laughs> God. <laughs> which of them? I'm saying this to my wife. Hmm. The beautiful Ado that I really, really like. God, I'm thinking. Wait, did you just? Put a name to it. Yeah, there's a name to it. If your name is Adam, that's fine. 
Now, now I'm saying this to my wife. If I give you a certain amount and I'm saying, oh, I just feel like giving you this money. You know, you deserve more than that. But hey, take this. And then you look at me and tell me, why are you giving me this amount? What do I need this for? Mm. I'll collect it. If you give it back to me, I will collect it. If you don't, fine, you can take it. But it will be the last time I will give you anything. But That's why? just who I am. Because I feel if you don't appreciate things, mm, small things, whether small, whether big, mm. come on, you can't get another one. It's just the principle of life. Except, see, it would shock you that whoever is giving them mm. that amount is doing it out of i want to collect something from this person either sex or <laughs> sorry about the break in transmission uh you know just had to fix some things all right so um you know like i was saying mm. if i give my wife certain amount and she tells me what exactly do, am I supposed to do with this? Of course. Like, you're not supposed to use the money to buy anything for the house, full stops, or it's just for you to just feel okay. Just buy a bottle of whatever you drink or buy anything you want. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And she's like, what am I supposed to use this for? It sends a message to my brain that okay. this person is not appreciative. Is not appreciative. Okay. But, but Dario, let, let me comment there somehow. Do you... I mean, and you, you, do you think that many guys, if you're earning less, do you think there are certain women they should run after? No, I don't fall in that category. I don't even believe there's a certain... I get the fact that... So you, people, you don't think people should date around their tax bracket? What's your tax bracket? <laughs> I, okay, I'm I'll, I'll chip this in. I was having a conversation with a friend of mine who was not based here, and she sent a mem to me and you know the conversation was that the guy was feeling insecure the lady mm. earns three point something million and then the guy earns two hundred thousand and you know the guy is telling the babe that you have to stop working so i have to be the man of the house to provide and the baby is like okay what young man you're insecure i can't do that and then she asked me the same question you're asking me and i told her where is the sense in me telling my wife who earns more that she needs to stop so I can be the man? Where's the sense? In these days where there are stay-home dads, mm -hmm. in these days where I can just cross my leg, oh, my wife, ah, fine. She's providing. Well, where's the shame in that? But would, that, would, that, would you be okay with that? I will. Really? Yes. There's no shame in it. As long as I still have some means of provision some parts that i provide i still stand as the man I, i'm not objecting what you're saying really but i think that especially for men makes you like man. many no i'm saying that many men they would always feel insecure if their wife is earning more so i was also reading something a few days ago about a lady who you know who wants to get married to this guy she's earning very you know nice pay and all of that and this guy said oh we cannot have this ring we cannot have that ring we cannot have this we cannot have that because the the lady has money yeah and it, it's not bad as well because i suffered when i was younger so we we, we cannot afford that so i have to do this and lady saying listen i have the money i've envisioned all of this for myself when I was a child, mm. blah, 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 I want to have it. And he said, oh, because you're earning that, I'm not interested anymore. See, everybody, mm. not even every man, everybody have an atom of insecurity in them. But men has this thing when it has to do with finance. Exactly. I'm not disputing that fact. Mm. As a matter of fact, I think it's even normal to understand. To do what? to have that unnecessary insecurity because your wife's earning more yeah i wouldn't see it's all about knowledge mm. once you understand that there is no sense in how, in being insecure in my wife earns more so i should 
find a way to tell her to not earn more so I can be the head. It just doesn't make sense when you add everything together. Mm. Do you understand? It, it's more like you're telling a dog not to eat bone again. Dog this days like me. <laughs> Which brings me to the same conversation we started with. Everybody, if you know that you want to start a podcast, mm -hmm. make sure your mental health, your mental health, your, like your brain, mm. not even your mind this time. Your brain is checked. It's functioning. And you're not insecure. <laughs> what, what does that have to do with this? Because the moment you start feeling insecure, you put everything out. That's when you start saying rubbish. Mm. That's when you start saying, eh, my wife shouldn't earn more than I do. No. My mm. wife must cook every day. every day. Fresh food. Well, I, I know that we just said it. I'm never going to do it, but listen to me. I'm never going to cook fresh food. Really. <laughs> My wife must go out to work and then come back and still cook. Mm. And then we still have sex. Okay. Do you understand? It's just a stupid mentality. Mm. So if your minds are well checked, hey, come on, you can have podcast, And then you can start telling us, oh, this is what I want to talk about. But these days, we don't do that. So if you're saying that they should ban it, rather... I'm not saying that. Regulate a bit. No, let them who, check. Who are the people checking? We, we, even people <laughs> who have real life issues in this country, have they been checked? Well, well they still find a way to be checked. <laughs> <laughs> Once they see that, you know one thing some of the streaming platforms does? They ask you, is your podcast 18 rated or yeah. thereabout? Or is explicit or blah blah blah, and then if you click yes, they streamline it to people who are above. Yeah, the age. The age. Now, if they ask you all these questions, are you mentally okay? It's not left to you to lie. Now, when you lie, and then people will listen, they see that this yes. guy is not mentally okay. They would report your podcast, and it will be yanked off. Mm. If they can do that, that's fine. Okay. That's, that's, that's all I think. It, it, it just makes more sense if it goes that way. Rather than everybody just want to talk about something stupid. And I also think that this thing is not like it's cheap, right? So I don't think it's cheap. So when it's not cheap, and we know that it's not like YouTube where you're making that money no 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 what but these days that money these days podcasters are making money you get it from adverts and to get this advertisement you need the rich yeah do you understand you need the rich you need to be like a public figure maybe mm -hmm. and if you want to start from scratch you definitely need the clout yeah sure <laughs> so in in situations where you don't have any of this like we you know you know how these things yeah, how, exactly. how we are putting things together. It's crazy. It's, it's not like but, it's easy. Hmm. <sighs> We're not there yet. That's what I think. Mm. We're not there yet. And it's still going to get worse. By the time they start giving us money. <laughs> ah, it's going to get dad. worse. That's the truth. It's really going to get worse. Because it, it, it feels like it's so easy. It's not just to carry a microphone and just talk, blah, 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 blah. There's a lot that goes, you know, into making a content. Like, you have to... I, I am always, I'm particular about research. Like, I want to know... When I want to go have an, an interview with someone, I want to know the background. I want to know oh, who is this person. So I would know the kind of questions that I would ask if this person is goofy, if this person is this, is not, is this, is that. You know, just to have some information about the person. about the person before meeting the person at all it doesn't matter who you are whether you're popular whether you're not i don't give a half i just want to know who you are before meeting you so i, I would understand oh this is what to expect hmm. True. you know not oh i'm going to have an interview with this person and i try not to be overly excited and i know that sometimes all those big interviews that you do that you're like oh this is going to be it. it it doesn't happen it doesn't you, you just need that very very small you know it, it's funny that i've had interviews with different people and i can tell you for a fact that some of those big names mm -hmm. they give you the worst interviews absolutely 
and they don't you have to basically beg them to help you repost it I, I mean crazy. it's not nice because like if you're out there and you're thinking of having a podcast, you should do your research properly before right. you even purchase any equipment. Right. Do your research properly. Know the kind of content you want to push out there. And even ask yourself vital questions like... Will I be consistent? Consistency is a key for all these things because it's not <laughs> going to come like this. So you just have to keep... There, there, there must be love for it. In the first place because by the time we always say that controversies will never end mm. we always say that content will never end yes it's a fact mm. but how much of controversy can you handle remember earlier we we're talking about a particular podcast that yeah. the lady walked out and like naturally you're not even supposed to leave the scene you're supposed to stay absolutely and i i keep you know i told you that this is as a result that these guys do not have any knowledge any journalism knowledge because you should understand these are basic things that you should understand you're having a, you invited the guest mm. you're having an interview with the guest there was a clash you don't agree can you agree to disagree there? you know just no, take you it like you that you know the funny part but then you both were, they were cursing each other and in between all of you that drama host you, you stood left up your to, guest on the seats it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Like, you're the host. Imagine. <laughs> you, you, you remember one interview that we had? And the guy said, ah, I just said Mr. Something. He said, ah, doctor. I was so embarrassed. Imagine you leaving him. Imagine leaving like him. saying, ah, what kind of nonsense is this? Get out. I mean, no. It just doesn't make sense. You have to find you, a way to You also have to it. ask people, what do you want me to call you? Yeah, exactly. Before, before, and, and that, was, that was something, would, some, that, that part actually taught me that oh, I should always ask people that, okay, what would you like to be called? Uh, Mr. Because some people will tell you, I don't want to, I don't want the title. Why some absolutely love the title? I personally just, if you want to call, just call me by my name, dial buttons. Don't put any Mr. I personally don't like it. No, for me. <laughs> Helen. so basically make sure you do your research properly right and uh, be ready to take as much <sighs> as much rubbish as yeah. you can because a lot of people would attack you and you should be ready to stand Some, that's why i said you should check your mental something else, another thing is see people will correct you Correct yes. you. So somehow they you would, would suggest. They would have crazy suggestions. So somehow oh. you would now ask yourself, okay, what do you want me to do? You would not even have an idea. What do you want me to? Because if you are listening to this person and putting their suggestion into place, okay, another, you would actually lose the authentic content that you intend to sell. You know, because you have to keep making adjustments because that has to feed into this person or that person's perception about your content the suggestions uh, it's ah. absolutely nice to get no 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 feedback, it's a good thing but oh, man it can be frustrating you've had situations like that oh my <laughs> <laughs> it can be frustrating i remember start you know during my early years in podcasting i started with a food podcast right. and you know People would suggest, how about you do this one? How about you do that one? Like, okay. And it was during COVID. So I literally had all the time in this world. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, do this one. Okay, do it. But you know, the funny thing is, those things weren't attractive to me. So exactly. I've had someone say, oh, why don't you just do a gossip podcast? I mean, I, I don't know how to... I love gist. Do you get what I'm saying? But I'm not the person. I'm not a journalist who wants to. You, you know what I mean? Like gossip and so something that I'm not sure. As I said earlier, something I'm not sure of. I do not know how to report it. I want to be able to say, oh, I I got this information from this source. I got it from that source. But coming to say, oh, did you see what that one wore yesterday? She did you see they caught this so, so so person? I I do not know how to do that. And you wonder how they all push themselves. It, well. It's all left to you now to decide if you still want to do it, but I trust you would make the right decision and you won't give us and you won't join the bad wagon of rubbish podcast.
TikTok or podcasters, if that's the word. That's right. So, guys, I wouldn't think podcasts should be banned, restricted. It's not definitely for everyone. Right. It's not for everyone. But please, if you have to do it, make sure that you have genuine love for it. The content has to be on point. Please don't come. Me, I'm even tired of watching. Okay, there is there is an audience for everyone. Yeah. So I would just leave it at that. Do you want to sign out? Okay, so that's it, it on. <laughs> Do it for me. Do you know what I wanted to say? <laughs> I was gonna say random. <laughs> exactly. I'm see not my shocked. head. That's it on memoir of a ninja girl with. Helen and Dio Buttons. Okay. Uh, till we meet again, same time, same place, same place, same same station. Uh, same station. <laughs> uh, we love you. Tell them to go and watch on YouTube now. Yeah, you Do should it, also right? share, like Helen underscore Mwang. And oh, on YouTube, good. it's uh, Memoir of a Ninja Girl. All right. Search for it or just Is put it on the World Wide Web and you would see it. Easy. All right. Simple. Well, Google certified. As you can see, that's it. Uh, you can always check. And uh, well, randoms with dial buttons. Is yeah, also you should there. check that out. You as should well. also check it out. And uh, it's annoying, but it has good content. <sighs> My contents are randoms, and you would love it. As random as you are. As random as I. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye.